Hi everyone, welcome to Thirsty Thirsty, time for another episode of the Brew Bear Beer Festival. Today's episode, very, very kind of sponsored by Frank over at Frank's Homebrew 77. Scotsman living in the beautiful Emerald Isle of Ireland sent me over a pills. Look at that, fantastic pet bottle. Superb for beer mouths so they don't get smashed by your couriers. That's what she looks like, it's a Cooper's, Cooper's bottle. Get it popped, poured into a glass and see what she is like. Nice hiss. Love pet bottles because you can do that. Look at that. It's like the old North American Indians doing smoke signals down the railway track. So, thank you very much. Glass wise today, we've got a Kolsch Stroke Pills glass. I think this was possibly liberated in Germany. So, uh, very, very good for bills, bills, beers of this ilk. Now if you don't already subscribe to Frank's channel, I shall put a link below, go and check him out. Really, really nice bloke, good brewer as well, got a fantastic kitchen, as my missus always points out to me. And uh, yeah, really, really nice bloke. So, that's what she pours like, and look at that, that is a beautiful textbook straw golden colour, look at that. Fantastic carbonation, it's a non-nucleated glass as well, we've got a nice, what's that, nice two finger of, you know that, quintessential textbook Pilsner, Pilsner style head on that. Looks fantastic. Let's go for a sniff and see what we get. Malt. Get hit of the malts. Bit of spice. Maybe a little bit buttery as well. Mmm. It looks like a Pils. Got the characteristics of a Pils. Smells like a Pils. It should taste like one as well. Let's see. Cheers everyone. Nice mouthful of that. Silky, silky smooth. Perfectly chilled, I think this is. I think I've got this out of the fridge about probably about half an hour ago. So it's just uh, it's not ice cold, but just that little little bit off um off ice cold as such. Perfect blend of sweetness and bitterness. Absolutely bob on the money um, bob on the money for that particular combination. Noblesque hop characteristic as well. So it looks like a pills, it smells like a pills, and it tastes like a pills. And you can't really ask for any more than that. Now, Frank's a bit of a Pilsner specialist. He's, uh, I think he's done quite a few different variants and different versions. Uh, you know, slightly tweaking the base recipes, etc. A little bit of chill haze on that as well at the moment, but you know. Crystal clear as such. Oh, this is really great. This is quite a warmish day here in the UK as well. So that ticks all of the boxes. Get a little bit of that spiciness just as it goes down on the final bit of the palate. But you do get that little bit of it's I mean, it's, it's dinky bit of butteriness as well without being yeah, um, without taking away from the characteristic of the malt. And the balance of the hops, that is absolutely top notch that is. Enjoyed that Frank, thank you very very much for sending that sir. Um, as you know we're on Thursday Thursday Brew Bear Beer Festivals, we do our, our scoring system, is it you know in the style of the spaghetti western, is it good, bad or ugly? That's, that's, uh, that's definitely a good, that's a Clint Eastwood that is. Um, really, really enjoyed that. I'm going to polish it all off now. And thanks for tuning in, in everyone, cheers Frank once again. Tune in for the next series of the Brew Bear Beer Festival. We've got a we've got a four parter sponsored by the man, the inventor of Tuesday Tipple. The man with quite possibly the first or second or joint first kitchens on YouTube land. Thanks for watching everyone. Of course that's Mr. John Owens up at Aussie Brew. Be seeing you.